Today you're gonna find out exactly what the best utility knife is for construction. Okay, so we've been talking about pouches, what the best apprentice pouch is and everything like that. Well, like I said, I'm a journeyman and uh, my trade is, I'm a framer, like a, I frame a steel stud, heavy gauge steel stud, and uh, drywall, and I insulate. And I do a bit of fire taping and stuff like that. So, but um, this is the pouch that I use. This is the uh, electrician's pouch. So it's got, uh, electrician's pouch is nice. It's about $40 Canadian. Um, it uh, holds my, you know, holds enough gear for what I need for each task. Like I just, when I'm doing drywall, I, do, I gear up for drywall. When I'm doing when I'm framing, I gear up for framing. So um, I don't have the hammer holster attached, but I like to have it in the back when I'm, you know, when it is attached. And this is that nice lightweight Husky uh, 17 ounce hammer I was talking about. Um, I like the Von Stilettos, but yeah, this is really nice lightweight and it's pretty much good for everything I do. Um, and then I prefer the five pocket, but right now I'm, I'm sporting the four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so um, it's uh, it's my backup one. My five poucher uh, pocket pouch just broke. So um, I carry my tape measure. Like I said, only Imperial. I don't use a combination like Imperial metric. That's just ridiculous. Use one or the other. Um, my chalk line. Uh, two usually two different screws. Um, I'll, put, I'll actually put my chalk line down here where it goes. Um, and then of course, you know, I always got butterfly clips for hold, holding my tape while I draw out my centers on the steel. Uh, right handled with snips, drywall rasp, my keyhole saw, and then of course the blade of the the best blade ever for all purpose in construction. This 25 millimeter Olfa knife. Okay. Now you can get black blades, and then and you can get these silver blades. The black blades are sharp, yeah, they're great, but they wear out too quickly. So the the actual um, steel ones are like the non-black ones are the best because uh, uh, the the blades last forever. So let's switch out our blades. Let's show you one, one second here. Yeah, you can see the blade it just goes back into this thing here now when you're handling these knives you should be wearing uh wearing gloves okay and then it's just simply slides in there um you can use it here or here just never put it on the actual seam because when you're using it, it'll snap uh you just put it here and lock it off when you want to snap it and change down to a sharper blade but for almost everything i just put it right here in the center um, when I'm doing my drywall cuts and all that, I can pinch it really easily. It also cuts through uh, up to uh, eight inch insulation very easily, okay? Um, and it also sharpens your pencils. <laughs> so yeah, if you're ever wondering what the best utility knife is ever for construction for all purpose, the strongest is, is this old uh, right here, this 25 mil. And with the steel blades, the not the, bla not the black ones, uh, you're gonna get like your value, like you're gonna get huge use out of it, okay? <coughs> yeah that's the best knife there is um, and yeah okay so i got lots of pencils and uh markers felt for my steel and then lots of pencils uh this is the flat bar i use right um and then of course my uh hilti screw gun you know with the 3.3 uh, um amp uh, 18 volt lithium but batteries or whatever they're I, those batteries are pretty awesome like i do heavy gauge all day long and i change up my battery once a day and then the replacement charger for the hilti is only 40 dollars, and it'll charge the battery like in a half an hour <laughs> less than a half an hour uh so yeah i'm filming today i'll be using my gopro kit you can see the rig i got on me here I'm going to show you a couple uses for the Olfa and oh the pick quick guys this is what I was talking about for a screwdriver um, it's called the pick quick um, I just started using these when I was working in film um, but I just yeah I just keep it around I, I've just kept using it it's so handy right one screwdriver for all and it's like I think there's a great warranty with these as well and they're very strong I've had this one forever it's like all this like this pouch I've had for four or five years so you can see I got a lot of use out of it, right? Uh, for doing rigid insulation, the, the Clank uh, scuba diving knife. Okay, it's got one straighted edge and one smooth edge. Okay, so that's the Clank scuba knife. Um, that's the best tool for rigid, like rock sole or thermofiber. Okay, this is the, the one tool like that you need when you do rigid, for sure. 
Um, yeah, so then of course my healthy line laser <coughs> I use for almost everything. Right, so the PMP, uh, the PM2LG, sorry, I use that for everything. Uh, the Dewalt ones, the new Dewalt ones with the batteries are amazing, actually, I, are incredible. I'm very excited about those. So yeah, I'm just saying, Vince and VCG, all you guys know your tools, you know your stuff. Um, I just know that we have different, uh, dis like the distributors up here, they have different items. So uh, for all you guys in Canada, this is pretty typical. All this stuff is very, very typical. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, what else can I show you? I'll just, uh, you know, in Ren, you know, Renaissance, all you guys, you guys know your, know your stuff. So, uh, you guys are doing a great job at, uh, letting people know about deals and what, and what tools to use. Okay. I, uh, hugely, highly respect your channel. Okay. So to snap the blade, you just put it on the line like that. I'm a little silly. I, I'm going to do uh, two, but usually you just do one, right? But I'm picky with my blades. So when I snap them, sometimes I go two. Uh, just when it's you know really bad or whatever Simple as that snap it off and then you got your uh, Move move it back out to the center right to, to the center of the blade so it doesn't snap by accident and you got your sharp blade <coughs> Simple as that so yeah Okay, so a couple things I just forgot to mention um, I'm the, the idea is to keep your pouch um, keep your pouch as light as possible um, uh, all the time, right? So just keep the tools that you need. Like I'm just cutting drywall. I got my rasp, my pencils, my knife, right? You know, I got a chalk line and a tape over here. Chalk line, it, you're right, man. You never give an apprentice a chalk line. I actually end up doing all the cuts because they're angled and you got to do them right. Um, yeah, but I use this framing square, right? For when I'm framing my studs. Um, the bucket, I carry the buckets, you know, that's where I put all the tools that I'm not currently using. So it's simple. I have my pouch on and I just carry a little bucket and, um, the ninja gloves here are the Kevlar gloves. So they're cut resistant and they should be a snug fit, right? So, um, I, I love these gloves. They're, they're, they're the best for drywall. I can do anything with them on. So when you're, uh, you got your drill, it's got a little hook like this. Is, I don't know, like, I don't know what the healthy one does. So I, I always just hook it to my pouch like that. So it's just, you know, when I'm not using it, it's hooked on my pouch. And I usually always have a screw loaded on it, ready to go too, um, all the time. <laughs> so yeah, just a little bit extra information on the stuff I use. So um, yeah, just try to keep your pouch as light as possible. Have fun with that awful knife. I mean, uh, it's unfortunate you guys can't buy them down there, but you can get them on my website. Uh, you can buy the awfuls on, on my website and the blades as well, refill blades, uh, right, right, right through Amazon uh, on my website. Um, both in Canada and the, US, and the USA, I have uh, it available for you guys. So check it out on Amazon on my uh, shop pages. <sighs> so yeah, there's a lot of yellow and black in here as well. So. Um, I use the Dewalt quite a bit. My Hilti is shot, so uh, I've been using these ones. Uh, they're pretty good. The power is amazing. Um, I, I don't use the drill really ever. I, I almost use I use the impact for everything, but uh, the, they last a long time. So the Dewalt takes a, a lot of abuse, you know. It's a good, tough tool. You see the Dewalt hammer drill here as well. Right, so... Uh, yeah, I like the Dewalt. This place is a mess. Uh, the steel chainsaw, right? So, oh my god, I got a pounding headache. So yeah, the steel chainsaw. Um, yeah, but yeah, we use I use a lot of Dewalt too. So you know, the my the Makita grinder. This look at this. This is awful. I eh? God, you guys. Um, damn, these guys, these guys need to clean. What else was I gonna say? Um. Oh yeah, that was this package here, right? So that was the this package here. So there's a couple on site right now. But um, yeah, so yeah, there's lots of lots of dual tools here. Um, oh right, the fasteners, guys, the fasteners. So <clears throat> look at these bad boys here. Okay, so these are the ones I'm talking about. See the long self-tapping end? These actually go through a half inch steel fairly simply. It's very simple actually. Um, there's these other screws that we call super screws. Let's see if I can find one. 
See, these are our inch and a quarter drywall screws with Phillips head. Those are for like wood or light gauge steel. Um, but let's see if I can't find a super screw in here somewhere. Here's one. This is a super screw. So check it out, man. See the head, like the self-drilling? That's like five eighths, uh, five eighths long. Okay, and this is a five sixteenths head, okay? Um, but this baby was what we used to fasten the 16 gauge steel to the, to the, uh, through a half inch I-beam, okay? Um, remember that if you, you have to screw farther out to the ends of the I-beam where it's softer. If you screw towards the middle where it's hard, it's also thicker, okay? And you gotta back off. Like, you, we just use these straight bits, okay, with the magnetic, uh, big magnetic bits. Okay, and uh, you, you just, you, you screw, and you push it in, let, let it self-drill. If you keep uh, winding it, the, the steel will heat up, and it makes it a hell of a lot harder, and sometimes if you stop when it's hot, you will never get it back through because it was, it's like cauterized so hard, right? It's just, heat makes steel harder. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys those screws. Cause I know you guys were looking at, you know, and all oh, these auger bits here too, this one's broken, but um, these are wicked too. If you're really uh, like huge arthritis issues and stuff like that, like I do, uh, sometimes like I use these to put my holes through the heavy gauge first, right? So that um, when I'm putting the heavy gauge steel to the I-beam, there's already a hole in the actual, uh, the top track, right? The steel top track, the 16 gauge top track. Um, because that top track will makes it harder to get through the uh, I beam. Okay, so if you pre-drill the holes in the track in the um, in the top track with these little auger bits, they're 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 awesome. That's the best way to go, right? So those are those are wicked. They last a long time. Okay, um, never tried it. Never ever drill through a bunch of steel when you got a whole bunch of holes to make through any kind of bit with like small bit, big bit, whatever. Like uh, even like the smaller smaller ones, right? That are uh, 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 like a quarter inch. Uh, five sixteens, whatever. Like those ones are those ones. You'll you'll go through a million drill bits, a million of them. So those auger bits are the best way to go. Um, but yeah, wow, this place is a mess, guys. So clamps are huge. Oh my god, I have like a million sets of clamps because um, steel stud and clamps go hand in hand. So. All right, so that was today's vlog, everybody. So if you're new to Chris Conco Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. YouTube thinks you might like uh, this video right next to me. I put a playlist for you guys to catch up right below that one. This is Chris. Bye for now, everyone.